What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited you guys decided to join me for this video and I'm actually kind of excited about this video as well. So I wanted to talk about NASA and Nokia and how they're going to be putting a 4G network on the moon guys. Um, before we begin there is going to be some like financial talk in this just in case I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy on the internet. These are my opinions and in no way financial advice. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I would appreciate that. It always helps me out. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it, guys. So if you guys don't know me, I do have a little bit of a position in Nokia in my portfolio. Not too crazy or anything. Kind of just a whim that I bought one day. But this was some pretty exciting news. So NASA and Nokia are putting a 4G wireless network on the moon. And the reason for this is because there is a project uh, with NASA called Project Artemis um, that is basically their goal is to have a lunar base by 2028, but they want to have like feet on the moon by 2024. So they're giving money to NASA um, basically to build this network out. They want to have a phone network on the moon. They want to have video data network on the moon so that astronauts in different parts of the moon can actually like talk on a, on a um, video chat, which is kind of cool. Um, it'll be interesting to see how they do this, considering there's no ionosphere on the moon. Um, and there's probably some engineering challenges just because there's no atmosphere and things like that. But I imagine, you know, Nokia will be able to make it happen. Uh, they were granted $14.1 million for the project. Um, but altogether, the whole project's going to be $370 million, So they've spread that out amongst other companies. I don't really know about any of the other companies. I'm kind of Gonna look into that, a little curious about that, thinking maybe Ericsson may be involved. Um, but yeah, this is some pretty cool stuff, man. I didn't even know we had a Project Artemis before this news came out. So this is kind of news to me just in general. I think as, as part of the human race, we should be really excited that NASA wants to have a moon base by 2028, right? Build a lunar base that sustains human presence on the moon, right? Whether that's, you know, like people go there for a year and then they come back or, or not, I mean, you know, that's neither here nor there. I imagine that it'll be a better environment for astronauts than like the space station where it's just zero gravity all the time. At least on the moon, you have some kind of gravity. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, but anyways, guys, some big news. Um, I will tell you that my Nokia stock did jump up just a little bit. Um, and I know right now they're working on getting their dividend back. Um, so they don't have a dividend right now. It was suspended, uh, you know, obviously because Kobe. <laughs> um, but it's a good, you know, it's a good cheap price right now. If you guys want to get in on Nokia, um, you know, not only do they have this, but I know that they're working on getting a lot of 5G network contracts. So as 5G starts to roll out, Nokia is going to be a big part of the infrastructure for that. So them and Ericsson. Um, and the reason for this is because the whole issue with Huawei and how the U.S. government doesn't want to have contracts with them anymore. Initially, they were, you know, they were going to be building some 5G networks in the U.S., but... Um, that is obviously not going to happen anymore uh, due to uh, political reasons, right? So keep an eye out on Ericsson. Keep an eye out on Nokia. You never know what kind of companies are involved in these kind of things. I mean, there's really not a lot of news on Nokia, to be honest. But I imagine, you know, once they get this rolling out and they get some 5G network stuff rolling out, they're probably going to reinstate that dividend. Um, so if you're a dividend investor and you're just looking for a cool, um, you know, a position with a company that's going to be pretty solid, I mean, someone's got to maintain these networks. Somebody's got to build the parts for them. You know, they're really not going anywhere anytime soon. So anyways, guys, uh, I thought I would just bring that news to you. I, I'm, I'm going to keep this one short. I didn't want to have a really long video. I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what's going on in case you didn't. Um, and yeah, it, you know, apart from stocks, I mean, <laughs> we're going to the moon. So that's pretty cool. Um, anyways, guys, once again, please like and subscribe. I appreciate all the support. You guys are awesome. I am going to head out now. You guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.